I have this unfinished wood mobile that I got from Hobby Lobby. It measures six by 13 and a half inches, and it's part of the spring shop collection, so I got it $9.99 with 40% off. I'm gonna take a small foam roller in my Wise Owl paint the colors goldenrod, and I'm gonna roll the goldenrod on both the front and back side. Everything I'm going to do, I'm also gonna repeat onto the back side and I'm just going to take a paintbrush and fill in any areas I missed on the edges. I'm going to allow that to fully dry. And I found this really cute bee stencil from Hobby Lobby. It is a mesh reusable stencil. And I'm going to lay that on top of the front here and just rub down. You want to make sure that it adheres nicely to your surface. And I'm going to take a foam dabber, and with this mesh stencil, I'm just taking some Wise Owl black paint and my dabber, and I'm just kind of sliding it on top of the stencil. I'm not dabbing, I'm kind of just sliding the paint on top. And sometimes before stenciling, I like to put just a top coat of the Wise Owl varnish or one hour enamel clear. You could do that before applying the stencil. And then I'm gonna remove the stencil. And again, everything I did on the front side, I also repeated on the back side. Now you can see this mobile, each piece of wood moves, so if you're going to be hanging it, you can quickly just take a paintbrush and paint the tops of each piece of wood. Now if you want to use yours as it's supposed to be used and leave it as the mobile where it can move around a little more, you're going to want to skip this step. But of course, I just had a little bit different of a vision. And I'm going to take this jute. You can get a huge roll from Hobby Lobby. You can also get some from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to glue it around the entire edge of the mobile. Now I'm just using the hot glue and just going around the edges and adhering the jute. Now when I had to cover the bottom side, I just wrapped it along the bottom and it covered that little screw very nicely and then at the top here I'm just going to cut it and meet the two ends of the jute together leaving the hanger exposed next I have a burlap ribbon and a buffalo check and I'm just gonna make a very simple bow I just layered the two different ribbons on top of each other and this is a wired ribbon, so it just makes it easier to work with and kind of fluff things up. And then I will cut the ends of the tails on my bow. You can use pinking shears. This always gives it a nice finish as well. And remember, everything I did to the front, I also did to the back side. I have this little wood oval shape that I'm going to use to make a little oval in the center of my piece of wood. And then I'm going to fill that in with some black paint. Once that was covered well, I then took a thinner piece of jute I had and I'm going to go around the edge with some hot glue and then adhere the jute around the oval we had created. And then I will adhere the bow at the top using the hot glue as well. And there you go, now we have this very easy beehive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials on our webpage as well. Have a great day.